All right, ladies and gentlemen. Game mm -hmm. Club. Oh, Game Club. It's time for Game Club. Each week, we talk about a video game. And we play a chapter or a segment or a timed interval of yes. that game. And yes. then we go ahead and discuss it on, uh, yes, on we the do. podcast we here do. in our section called Game Club. We do. Game Club. And what game were we game clubbing? <laughs> we just finished out the the Outer Worlds. We did. Last chapter. I did it. You did it last week. Yeah. I was like, I'll, I'll do it this week. So when you went to go finish it, were you like, wow, yeah, there wasn't much left to do? I uh, know there's still a bunch to do. Oh, okay. I still had some stuff to do. I had done all the side so, quests already, so. Except for Felix's. Oh, yeah. And Sam, I didn't. Yeah. I did. Fuck Felix, man. I don't want his companionship. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure Sam had one. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Yeah? Yeah, of course. Let's look it up. We're done now. I'm sure there is one for Sam. Probably get him an upgraded power nodule or something like that. Um, so the main last mission is we have to break Phineas out of jail on Tartarus. Yeah. Correct. That is correct. I, uh, I'll just talk about some other stuff first. Okay. So I tried to do the clothing quest. I had, I oh, had got yeah, two of the yeah, outfits yeah. done and I just needed to go and find the Spacer's Choice outfit. Okay. And, uh, I think I found it. So I went back in and of course, you know, I'm kill on site with, uh, with, uh, Oh, the, um, uh, the board. The board. Yeah. 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 And, but not all the citizens want to kill me on site. Okay. Like none of the citizens. They yeah. usually just run and hide, but I can still like, yeah, whatever. So I go inside the shop and there's guards in there. So mm -hmm. the guards attack me instantly. And so does the quest giver. Oh, really? So I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill her. we got to run away. But then, you know, she just gets smashed and uh, oh, quest failed. Oh, sad. <laughs> that sucks. And so I was doing, so I was like, okay, I'll wrap up the tour quest where you have to go around, get the beacons and stuff like that. Because I hadn't done that one. The which one? The uh, the sightseeing one. Where you have to go to each planet, find the beacon. Who gave you that quest? Uh, the explorer on... The Explorer's Guild or whatever the frig in uh, on uh, Byzantium. I must have missed that one because <laughs> I that's not familiar at all to me. Oh yeah, you definitely missed it then. Yeah, so you have there are certain the beacons. Explorer's Guild. I don't know how I missed that. There's certain beacons on each planet that you just go to and you do the be you activate the beacon. It gives you like a little history of the place. Oh no, no, I didn't even see that one. So you go back and the guy's like, "Oh, uh, you're back." Uh... <laughs> He was very puzzled by being back. And what he had done is he just has that beacon record you trying to like record adventurers trying to get to the beacon and just dying horribly. And then he would broadcast that on. on oh, <laughs> what a guy. And so you get a hat. I did not look at the hat. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's too bad. I didn't look at the hat. I, I did not even see that area. I must have missed it in Byzantium. So I yeah. thought I went everywhere. Yeah, it was so when you first come off the ship, if you go straight left, it's right there. Oh, uh, there is a I, quest where I, you have to like remember when you're doing uh, uh, Ellie's companion quest. Yeah, and, and you, you talk go to, her to parents. Yeah, you go to the mailbox to do the uh, insurance thing. Oh, I didn't do that. I went to. The other planet and did it. Oh, yeah. There's a mailbox you go to for the insurance company. And then they're like, oh, you have to go to the other planet. I didn't go to that mailbox. Oh, interesting. I don't so think. That mailbox I think I went is... straight to the other planet because I knew it was there. Oh, yeah. That mailbox is right outside the oh, Okay. World. Maybe that's why I missed it. Because yeah, I think I knew about the other uh, insurance company. Because I remember uh, when I talked to yeah. her, I was like, it's weird. There's an insurance company here. <laughs> yeah. I remember being there, too. But I it pointed me at the mailbox first. I don't think I went to the mailbox. So I went to the mailbox. And it's like, no, no. You oh, go. wait. You got to go to the other planet. Maybe I did go. Is that inside the. It's like down one of the dead ends. In okay. Byzantium. Maybe not then. I don't I don't remember. There's guards and a door that you can't go through. I remember going into some like thing that looked like a bank and there was all these tellers and stuff like that. And there's people lining up, but all the tellers were like closed basically. Oh, I don't think I went into that yeah. building. Anyways. Um, yeah. I wish I had done the, uh, the uh, beacon quest. I missed that somewhere along the way for sure. Yeah. So it must be for, so for Sam, the quest might be the cleaning machine instead of him having a companion quest. 
whereas it's the quest to get him. Oh, okay. Weird. Um, well, what was Felix's? Okay, so quest? Felix's quest. He's like, hey, I just got a call from an old friend. Uh, he doesn't have friends. We should go all, see him. That's that's red flag. He doesn't have friends. <laughs> no one likes that guy. So you get a new landing port okay. in Scylla. Oh, okay. And there's a whole base there that you can go in. in. Oh, interesting. And so you go and talk to this guy, and he's just there. It's just a pile of rogues, like a pile of bandits. Uh-huh. And so Felix was part of this bandit squad. Yeah. And so you have to talk to this guy, and he's like, hey, I want you to go kill this traitor who ratted us out to the board. Okay. And so you have to go, and, and he's like, oh, his wife is on the Groundbreaker if you want to find out where he is. So you go to Groundbreaker, talk to his wife, who's in the uh, bar. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, uh, you know what? I don't want to have to kill you. So I just intimidated her. And she's like, oh, fine. He's just over on this. He's over on uh, uh, near Edgewater. Okay. So you go to Edgewater, and the, uh, right up on the north side, there's a sneaky little cavern place like a sneaky little break in the rock that you can go and there's a bunch of dudes down there okay ship and stuff i'm like oh i'd never i thought i explored this entire area interesting and there was this whole area that i hadn't seen yet huh <laughs> no i didn't see that so I go up there i intimidate the guy and he's like oh uh you know no he's the he's in the board he's in the pockets board the board's pockets yeah they pay him off to do bad things to people so that they can keep things in check oh yeah and i'm like oh okay he's like i'm like you got any proof of that and he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, yeah, I, I got all these logs and stuff and hit him in back in the pirate base. Okay. And so you take his ring as proof that you killed him. Yeah. And you don't, I just didn't kill him. Let him go. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, and I found the logs. I'm like, hey, bud, what's this? Yeah. Oh, I bumped the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud, what's this? There's all these documents. And he's like, ah, you've been telling you. Ah, and then he just attacks you. Oh, yeah. So you destroy everyone in the base. Easy peasy. Nice. Yeah. But it's, uh, Going back to Edgewater and like roaming around, I'm like, man, I like not having level scaling because you just just blast everything them. just dies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not a huge fan of level scaling personally, but yeah, uh, yeah it's um, yeah, I love just be going back to an old place and be like, ha, here we go. <laughs> yeah, no problems. <laughs> um, but the final level, Phineas is kidnapped. Yep, arrested. Yep. He's in the jail Tartarus. Yep. And we have to go break him out. Yeah. That's sort of the last thing we got to do. Um, fucking this place was brutal, dude. I died a bunch in here. <laughs> I died once to the boss. I did not die to the boss. Cause I, when you, when you land on the base, the guy's like, Oh, Hey, you can't, you guys can't be here. You're going to get arrested. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, Hey, uh, show me your bio card. Oh. How do I know you're you? And he's like, oh, yeah, uh, here you go. This is what a non-criminal citizen looks like. And they're like, oh, thank you. And wow. so I walk in. I'm just disguised the entire time. Nice. Just easy roll right on no, through. No, I had to fight my way in. <laughs> and those guys are tough, dude. They had, like, nice armor. And, like, I'm, like, out of heavy ammo. <laughs> I'm, like, scavenging, like, desperately to find heavy ammo. So you didn't see any of the cool stuff then? Oh, the cool stuff still happened. Oh, did it? Like the uh, when I landed, the uh, uh, the people from the Groundbreaker, the came, Mardettes, the Mardettes came and yeah. started fighting. They all died. OK, I was like, yeah, just walking through, just mind oh, of my own just, just like turning my eyes. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know what's happening. I'm just going through. Yeah. That Mardettes one was like, I'm fighting around and they're running around, you know, in yeah. front of me. And I was like, <laughs> I shot that Mardette in the head. And then they all decided I was the enemy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they're all the bad guys and the good guys are fighting me. So that, so did people from Edgewater show up too? Yes. I did not have any. Edgewater. Oh no, no, no. Oh, or no, did Sublight show up? No, Sublight didn't show up. No, I went and talked to the Sublight lady and she was like, she was like, no, no, she, she didn't, she wasn't having it that I didn't uh, kill the quote oh, unquote yeah, yeah. alien. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, can I get, like uh, referral papers or something. She's like, no, get out of here. Yeah. yeah that's basically <laughs> so. what she said to me too. <laughs> Except I made that woman work with Phineas. Yeah. Um, the Mardettes showed up. The people from groundbreaker showed up. Yeah. That's the Mardettes. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, who else showed up? MSI showed up for me. MSI and the Iconoclast. Yes, yes. And yeah. they just destroyed yeah. that floor. When they showed up, I was like, oh, these guys showed up. That's cool. I can't remember their names, but I'm like the boss guy yeah. from the MSI started talking. And I was like, oh, it's my boy. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, they showed up and they single-handedly destroyed that floor. Yeah, yeah, for me too. I was like, holy man. Um. But then we get upstairs to the boss, the robot boss. Yeah. And what a pain that battle was. Yeah. Well, just it took forever to do. It was. I, I died once, but I figured Actually, I out did how die. to glitch him into one of the pillars. Oh, you cheated. <laughs> so I was like looking around. I'm like, okay, uh, the boss is in there. Before I go and fight him, I'm going to go in this other room. So I got hacking. I can get in there. And there's a panel there. Where you can just shut the robot down if your hacking's high enough. Oh wow! My hacking was not high. Enough. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's how it would have gone. Is you could shut the robot down. If well, your maybe high it enough. just shuts down his compatriots. Yeah, maybe. Because those were annoying. Those as were hell. the annoying part. Yeah. So I was very low on heavy. That was my main weapon that I had, and I had electric. It was electric heavy, so I was thinking that'd probably be good against yeah, him. Yeah. But fuck, it took forever to <laughs> kill him. And then my two compatriots are like, just die dead. dead. <laughs> I couldn't bring them back to life, right? Yeah. So I'd have to like run around, hide in a side room, like reload, wait, shoot the little robots. <laughs> and then by the time they were done, the guy, the big robot had made its way over to my room and was like trying to get me. So I'd run to another room. It took a long time, but I finally <laughs> did it. There's a, there's finally in this, in that, uh, in the jail, there is a heavy machine gun uh, level two, like a, a number two heavy machine. Oh, yeah. Gun. And so I picked that thing up. I jacked it up all the way hundred, all the way up to 1900 damage. Ooh. I put mods on it and everything. Nice. And if you uh, the robot will glitch. He'll, if you walk around the pillars enough, you can get it so that his gun arm is in the pillar. Oh, yeah. And then he will try and shoot you, but you can't. He can't because, you know, it's, it's in, in the pillar. pillar. But his most of the rest of his body's in, in view. I mean, you have to shoot him in the legs because his shield is there. Yeah, yeah. But that's eventually what I did is I used that heavy machine gun and just filled his legs full of bullets. No, I would uh, run around and he'd charge me and then I'd shoot him in the back and shoot him in his shield and whatever. Mm -hmm. So I finally did it, but fuck, it took forever. <laughs> I, yeah, the uh, I think the way you beat him is that you use your... Uh, your time dilation, shoot him in the leg so he falls over and then shoot him in the back. Mm -hmm. But there's so little time between him falling over, you getting out of time dilation yeah. to shoot him in the back. He will like sort of get, if he runs into a wall when he charges you, he'll do the same, like stun himself and mm -hmm. you can shoot him in the back too. Um, <laughs> it was funny when you get into the room where uh, the board chairman is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was like the one shot kill, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He was like, ah! But I come in there and I didn't even get a chance to shoot him. Because Ellie just was like, <laughs> 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 blew him away and it was over. So I was like, oh, that was cool, but uh, whatever. Yeah, I was like, oh, here we go again. And I'm like, no, it just dies in yeah. one hit. It reminded me of that uh, mission in uh, Borderlands 2 where you go to fight the boss and the boss is like doing his grand entrance down the stairs and like, <laughs> you know, talking shit and he trips on his cloak, falls down and dies. <laughs> it's kind of what this was like too. Yeah. So but then we get Phineas out and uh, we sort of uh, get the ending of the game. Yep. Um, and it, just, it, ba it basically just goes through stills and tells you what happens. Yeah. So the main one for me would have been... <sighs> On Edgewater. Uh, Edgewater. Yeah. So for me, it was the lady had taken mm -hmm. over, right? Yep. She cleared the cannery out and started a farm in there. Oh, yeah. Anything else? Uh, No, they live after a Oh, they live So for mine, it was what I had done was I'd shut the power over to the farm and shut it off at groundwater or whatever that city's Edgewater, called. Yeah. Edgewater. And so when the board fell there was nothing to do at edgewater so people went to move to the farm yeah but she turned most of the people away so oh. they died of starvation <laughs> and the few that she took in joined in their group yeah but she died a few ye years oh. later yeah no she lived long and no. helped the community prosper and the yeah. only one who died was 
uh, the previous Hudson Hudson. Oh yeah. He went out in the bush and died in two days. <laughs> no, no. She died a couple years later and then let everyone else die basically. Oh, interesting. Yeah. She yeah. let them all starve to so death. So that was a pretty big difference. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. like, there's probably not going to be anything different. No. Yeah. I was like, Oh, I made the wrong choice. Oh, interesting. Um, I think pretty much everything else we selected was the same basically. Yeah. So they showed like Vicar Max. I don't know. He was like standing on a planet looking at a moon or something like that. Ellie said something about how she's going to be closer to people or something like that. Parvati and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Ellie said she was going to be closer to people? She wasn't going to be so, like, closed off or something like that. Oh. Why would it say for you? She uh, got her own crew, uh, her own ship, Okay. started a pirateering business, and started (laughs) just going crazy. I don't think that's what happened in mine. <laughs> uh, Parvati and what's her name? They lived happily ever after. Yep. And people came to see Parvati because she's like the greatest engineer. Of yeah. All time. yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, what did they say about Phineas? He continued his work, but he wasn't as good as I was at it. And I exceeded him as a scientist or something like that. Huh. And I could do better. I had more like ingenuity and whatever than him. So he didn't live long enough to see what we did or whatever. Um, So for me, Phineas, mm -hmm. he lived quite a long time, helped all the people, imparted all of his knowledge. And when he died a few years later, I picked up and carried on for him. Maybe that's the same thing that mine was then. Uh, They also said that like they hadn't, one of the things they're suppressing is they hadn't heard it back from Earth and like, Three years. Three years yeah, or something yeah. like that. Same thing, yep. So I'm assuming that's going to be part of the next game is to go to Earth and see what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? What else? What else? Um. Did you have any Felix in there? Because he didn't do his companion quest? I don't think so. What did it say for you? So Felix, which showed one of those like loaders, like forklift loaders, he said he was... uh. He he took time and just started rebuilding things. With oh his yeah, own it hands it did have Felix's like ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it, that's basically what it said for me too. So, uh, fuck Felix. <laughs> it was uh, yeah, it was an interesting ending. I mean, pretty much showed what everybody was up to. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, I think it showed the iconoclast too. Maybe. Yeah, it said something about how they work together and. Sanjar and yeah, uh, yeah and they, what's her name? They worked together and, and became the best, the yeah, biggest, brightest city. It was in, like the, the best colony. idea I did in the game was to yeah. make those two work together. Yeah, be interesting to see what happens if you side with the other guy. Yeah, I kind of want to play it again and just be a corporate stooge. I think if you do, you got to get the Spacer's Choice Edition. <laughs> yeah, with no level scale, no level cap. Oh uh, yeah, because I did reach the level cap. I, I think if I do play it again, I'll just blast through it and just oh, be yeah. corporate stooge just yeah, to yeah. see what it, see what the ending is like as, you know, 100% I mean, rep with Byzantium, 0% rep with everyone I'm sure else. there's a YouTube video, too, if you don't have time yeah, to do probably. that. Probably. So. I mean, it was a good game. I'm totally interested in playing it again mm-hmm. to see that. Yeah. Whether I have time now or not is going to be the deciding yeah, factor. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's not like Mass Effect when I beat Mass Effect and I was like, I got to go through it again. <laughs> like the game wasn't that good to mm-hmm. me. The story was interesting, but it was also like, it was just like dollar store Fallout. It... Uh, <sighs> It's yeah. like the great value follow, you know, like it really wants to be followed, but it's like, well, you know, we don't have the time to have you th- six different results for this mission. Yeah. It's either you do it this way or this way. Yeah. You get two choices. Whereas followed, it would be like, you know, you could do it four different ways and yeah. it give you four different results. You know, I think it was a fantastic first entry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Into, yeah. into a new IP series. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's there's some things they definitely could have. Uh, done better but there was a lot of things that i liked Mm -hmm. i mean well the one thing that i complained about it sorry go ahead one thing we complained about before is of course the inventory system with all the foods and stuff terrible 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 when i told you that trick that i had done it only works for when you have already selected the things and put them into your thing into your uh trash oh because as soon as it comes out of your trash that goes right back to your main inventory when you pick another one up yeah and they didn't tell you that anywhere except on a loading screen. Yeah. 
it's like uh, what anyways <laughs> that was obviously a thing they didn't think of till the end yeah um the one thing i did notice is that the ending i was a female character but the over like the you know the subtitle said she but the voiceover said he interesting because i immediately noted that i'm like i'm not a he <laughs> what do you say yeah. he for dude and yeah in the ending you're not like the armor I was wearing at the end of the game, you're not no, no, no. wearing that in the end. No, they have uh, a generic drawing of a character that yeah. you can't tell if it's male or female. Yeah, yeah. But it's obviously that they forgot to be like, oh, yeah, you can be female. We better record the voiceover for this section twice. <laughs> so they yeah. just had me as a, they misgendered me as a he. Wow. Very sad. Rude. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I liked it. But, uh, yeah, it's not one I'm just like keen on diving back into anytime soon. Yeah, I, I, I just kind of want to play through it and just see what it's what it's like being a corporate stooge. They're just like speed running. Cause I already know what I'm yeah, doing yeah. and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it was really good. I liked I liked the storyline. Uh, I think the ending where everyone comes out, you know, all your friends come to save you. It's like they don't say anything that no. that's going to happen at all. They just kind of show up I'm like, who the hell are these people? Yeah. When I, going on? when I arrived and all the Mardettes started pouring out, I was like, oh, here we go. All right. <laughs> but it was like, I'm fighting them. So it's a little different for yeah. me because I was already under attack when they yeah. showed up. So I'm like, oh, right on. I got some allies here. <laughs> Whereas for you, you're just like, oh, well, I'm just walking I'm through. I'm just walking through. Don't yeah. mind me. So. Oh, did you know that when you are dis- disguised, you have three opportunities to refill your bar, your disguise bar? No. So when you look at the disguise bar, it's all purple right down to the bottom. Yeah. There's three. Yeah, like, I saw those like dots, dots or whatever. So if your disguise runs out, yeah. someone will come up and talk to you and be like, hey, who are you? What are you doing here? Really? And so you can intimidate, lie or persuade. Oh. And you will get your bar refilled once you've done that. But you only have three opportunities to do that oh. before they're like, okay, you have to die. Because I would just be like, it's almost running out. And I would leave to a area that would recharge it and then come yeah. back in. Yeah, that's what I was doing. But then there was one time where I was like, oh, man, I, I just don't have enough bar to get back. And then someone comes up and he's like, hey, I've never seen you around here. What are you doing here? And then you'd be like, oh, I'm I'm new. You know, I... Uh, Oh, I, I don't crazy. Know I, don't, I don't know where my card is. It hasn't been issued yet. And they're like, oh, well, yeah, I know how the bureaucracy works down there. I'm oh, like, OK. It. Another thing where they don't really tell you. Yeah, it's crazy. Probably just on a loading screen. But yeah, you yeah. got three opportunities to do that and huh. then they'll attack you. Not that I ever really needed that anyways. So there were some sections like going through uh, going through the hope because it's a little bit. There's a lot of places you need to go where and then there's not a lot of opportunities to uh, switch disguises. Uh, yeah. That one, I just sort of like, oh, it's going to run out. And I'd walk through a door and be like, oh, I'm back out of <laughs> an area that I don't need to be disguised. That's yeah. crazy. There was one. There was a couple of spots where I was like, oh, where the hell am I going? And then the robots would come and be like, rah, 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 and I'd be like, yeah, yeah. I'd tell them a riddle and they'd be like, oh, my God, I don't know what how to process that. <laughs> one, 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 zero, one, one. And they just and self-destruct. They just, they just go off and do something else. Crazy. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I I would recommend it. I know yeah, a lot I mean, of the people like in the people we've talked to about the podcast or whatever, like I quit that game. I didn't play it all the way through because it was like whatever, too bullet spongy or too whatever. And I felt the same way at one point, but then it's like, oh yeah, I'm using like a level four gun right now. Against level 32 guys. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, okay, I understand what the problem is here. So yeah, they don't do... Well, I don't know. I don't know if they've done a good job explaining stuff because I didn't read a lot of the loading screens. Well, I don't look at loading screens generally, no. but it would have been different if it was like the only thing on the loading screen. Yeah. Whereas this, it's like, oh, I'm looking at this cool art from the game and like <laughs> Aunt Cleo's whatever remedy and looking at the old timey art and everything like that. And then there's yeah. some text at the bottom like, well, maybe I'll look at that or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I Nothing seemed bullet spongy to me. I was leveling up everything yeah. with my character. All my guns were like as much leveled as they could be. I never run into anything that uh, was shouldn't be bullet spongy that was bullet spongy. Mm-hmm. Everything that I ran into that was a little bit bullet spongy was like a super large high level character yeah. that I'm like, this is an RPG. It should be tough. to Yeah. Get. yeah. No, there's a f- one time where I was like, wow, it's taking a lot of bullets here. And then I was like, oh yeah, I should probably equip a different gun. <laughs> the one thing that was a disappointment for me was the science guns. Like, I don't think they were strong enough. Really? I didn't. Like I, I, they were cool. I'd like use the one, and he'd be like, "Oh, that guy's floating away now, or whatever. Yeah. That's cool." But it's just like, 
they're more goofy than yeah, anything Yeah, they else. don't really... Maybe if you build for it and you take all the perks that do science damage for science guns and stuff, yeah. it might be better, but... I don't know. And even then, like, the special ability, well, it doesn't work on the boss, so... <laughs> yeah, you can't shrink the boss. You can't make the boss yeah. float in the air. Exactly. So, it's yeah. a whatever. I liked it a lot. But yeah, the... Uh, I liked all of the places except for the one planet where you spend a lot of time on because there's a lot, of, a lot of quests there. Uh, you didn't like that planet? The the one where it's just like the palette is red and brown and it's oh, very um, dark and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where you meet Nyoko. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. like that planet at all. It was yeah, it, I thought it, it was, was hard fine. to see things. I thought it was fine. Um, but what are we doing next? We the next game mm-hmm. next up. We're gonna play Yakuza Zero. <gasps> nice. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. This is a uh, part of your heritage, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Have you ever played a Yakuza I game? I played before? the demo for Yakuza Like a Dragon. Okay, very different game. I I think it was a Yakuza. There was like a ten minute demo you could play. Okay, you could go to one store, you could do one thing, and you could fight a bunch of people around town. So yeah, that was the one that's Dragon Warrior, like RPG. Yeah, I was like, this is goofy and fun. I could get into this. Yakuza Zero is like, it's like a fighting game. Yeah. So you're punching and kicking and shit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it is goofy. And it's going to be great when you go to, like, the fucking um, karaoke and do some singing. <laughs> or, like, you go to the um, erotic video store and watch a video you found of a Japanese model in a bikini, like, <laughs> lounging around and stuff like that. It's good times. Yeah, so I'm make excited. sure that you guys, uh, if you if you like to listen to this live, yep. you can join us along. Yes. Join along with us. It is on Game Pass. So if you are subscribed to Game Pass, you're going to be able to play this game with us. You're going to be able to interact with us live in the chat. Yes. And if you aren't able What's to wrong interact with, with us oh. live in the chat, then you can go to the Discord, the Purple Room Studios Discord. There will be a uh, uh, forum post in the uh, you know the forum section that they've mm-hmm. done. And it'll be all about the discussion of the game. And you can post your experiences there and we will read them out live on uh on the yes. podcast and we'll then we can discuss like that and this game is available on game pass yes it was given away on epic yes so you have no excuse not to play it <laughs> unless basically. you don't have epic installed in which case what's wrong what's with wrong you? with you another launcher do it i'm Free sure games. the game is probably cheap too yeah probably. It's probably like 20 bucks or something like that so let's go to the old steam and find out i would say just do it it's fun. It's, it's $30 game. on Steam. $30, okay. And I mean, if you have Epic, you already have it. You should already have it. So and if you don't have Game Pass, uh, what's you're wrong just you? throwing out, you're throwing away money. By so we're going to play the first main mission, but I don't know. That might not be enough because I think the first mission is going to be mostly Story exposition. Line. Yep. So it might be the first two, but we'll see anyways. Um, so keep an eye out. We'll let you know. Yes. And please do enjoy Yakuza 0. Playing as... <laughs> Shifty Kiryu. Eyes here. What's his name? <laughs> Kiryu. I can't think of his name. Kiryu. Kiryu. He, he plays Kiryu. Very good. In... God, what city are you always in? I can't remember. It'll all come back to me. I played the first bit of this game already, so... I'm going to restart it. Very good. I'm excited. And yeah, if you, I'm aroused. If you are a Bethesda game fan, I highly recommend that you play uh, The Outer Worlds. It was yeah. I found it to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. It's basically small, small out, small fallout. Yeah. 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 Small out. <laughs> Very small fallout. <laughs> uh, you know, like with some of the games, I couldn't wait for the to end. Whereas this game, I'm like, I can't oh, wait like to play more. Oh, like fucking Plague Tale? Yeah. Requiem? Plague Tale Requiem. Couldn't wait for it to end. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alan Wake. I also like the combat sections there were just awful. No, the combat sucks in that game, but the story so, is so interesting. It kind of uh, makes up for it. I was, it was very hard to get through. Whereas Plague Tale Requiem, I'm just like, this story's dumb too, so I <laughs> yeah, don't care. Plague Tale Requiem wasn't into it. Whereas The Outer Worlds, I was like, yeah, just give me more. I'll yeah, just yeah, play yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do I have to stop playing now? I kind of do, but I also kind of don't because I can do some side quests. Well, it's a good thing <laughs> in Yakuza there's like lots of side quests, first of all. Yeah. But then if it's like I'm done the side quest, it's like, well, I can go play hang on in the arcade or go play baseball <laughs> yeah. or, you know, 
There's just so much to do. So yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. Yes. So make sure you guys tune in next week uh-huh. and uh, make sure you play the first chapter or maybe the first couple. Uh, we'll let you know in the Discord. Yes. So make sure you join the Discord. It's the link down below. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, that's uh, going to be it. Yes. For this episode of the uh, Stream Void podcast. It is. If you liked what you listened to, if you like listening to us on the thing, uh, then leave us a review. Share us with a friend. Yes. Let us know how you like the podcast, what we could do now, what we could do better. Yes, what please. We're doing now, what we could do better. Yeah. Yeah. I know how to speak words. Those are good words Those in that order. Words. They <laughs> communicate a thought and a feeling. Wow. Mm-hmm. I'm good at talking. Yes. I'm not. Uh, And with that being said, we'll see you guys again in one week's time. Bye-bye. Bye.